the cenotaph here in the UK has very deep and special feeling to lots of people who live in the United Kingdom to celebrate our war dead from World War I and World War II, the glorious dead. What do we know that has happened to that very special monument here in the UK? Let's find out. Welcome friends. When this popped into um, a comment earlier, um, I decided to look into this and I was shocked. I literally had the weekend off. I needed to reset. So this morning, doing some research back on it, trying to figure out what the hell's going on here in the UK. And when I said that there's going to be um, a big protest in London, Saturday, starting outside the BBC Centre and going all over the place past Whitehall, etc., Wow, do you know what happened? Well, when I found out, it made me feel sick. It nearly made me physically sick to the stomach. I couldn't believe what I saw. Now I'm going to be showing on the screen now. They decided to put a main speaking stage, which was key to this huge big protest with, I reckon there was 50,000 people plus went to this protest in London over the weekend. All about the Palestinian stuff which is going on over in Israel. Well, when we looked at the video and we saw um, the police were putting their riot helmets and riot shields on the bottom of the cenotaph next to the reeves, celebrating the lives of all of the ones that we lost in World War One and World War Two. Like I said, our glorious dead. How disrespectful and disgusting is that alone but not only that why the hell did they decide to put that great big stage literally right next to the cenotaph they could have put that stage anywhere along that march anywhere in that street but why the hell would someone decide that it'll be a good idea to put it right next to the cenotaph so what do we know about what happened over that weekend? Well, like I said, there was um, sporadic pockets of violence which was cropping up during that protest. Um, the police were used um, to enforce lots of issues there. Stuff was being thrown at the police. Not much of this is being covered on the mainstream, but no doubt you're probably going to find some real footage, possibly on Twitter or Telegram groups and stuff like that. Um, incidentally, speaking of um, Telegram and Twitter, if you can share this video so we can get that out to other communities within WhatsApp, Telegram, Facebook as well, I would really appreciate it because it seems that my voice is being quietened on this platform and it's very hard to get this content out there because we are literally up against the BBC, Sky News and all of that stuff. So it's very hard to look at um, um, an impartial um, data capture of what has been going on. This is going to affect people. You know, people getting caught up in these protests and maybe sometimes they turn riotous. It's an absolute nightmare. Now, cast your mind back to 2020. Yes, three years ago. Can you believe that? BLM, the Black Lives Matter. As we all know, it was heavily funded by Soros and lots of other sinister organizations no way is that a grassroots movement not on your nelly not at all what we are seeing here on this video is someone trying to set fire to the union flag or the union jack on the cenotaph itself during one of those black lives matter protests three years ago in 2020 now when we look into this and we try to understand why are these things happening, okay? Um, if you don't know, the Cenotaph, um, literally, that was opened on Remembrance Day 1920 on the, off the back of World War I, as I said, for our glorious dead to celebrate the lives lost of all of the servicemen here in the United Kingdom or Great Britain, World War I and World War II. Not only that, did anyone see some of the footage in the protest? You saw the overwhelming majority of all of the protests waving and carrying Palestinian flags. One guy decided to carry and hold up the Union Jack, the Union flag. Guess what? He was arrested. 
he was an elderly gentleman. I would say he was over 60 years old and he was literally surrounded by about 13 police officers. Some of those police officers were covered in tactical clothing, kit and equipment. Was that really necessary? Why was that guy arrested? We don't really know much about that. So if anyone has any information about that guy who was arrested with the Union Jack on that protest on Saturday, can you send me an email to any links? I'd really like to know. I've done some digging and I couldn't really find too much out about it at all. We really don't know at this, uh, this time. So when I spoke to a few veterans about this literally about half an hour ago, maybe a bit longer, it's crazy when you look at the veterans forums and stuff the feelings the general feeling so far bearing in mind this was only released today the general consensus and feelings of veterans here in the uk are absolutely disgusting in quotes that was being used on multiple um, forums and platforms with veterans speaking their minds about what they are seeing happening moreover the cenotaph here in the UK and the United Jack or United Flag, if that makes you feel good. It's unbelievable. So we have veterans in this country, some of them who are no longer here. They're gone. OK, lots of their friends are left behind and they struggle. Lots of veterans struggle, especially leading up to Remembrance Day. Now, this protest how crazy. It's only a few weeks away from Remembrance Day. And they put that platform, that stage, right next to the Cenotaph. Absolutely, 100% disrespectful. Now, I'm going to try and put some footage at the end of this video of this guy who had the same concerns as myself. And I want to you to watch that and to let me know what your thoughts are about what you were seeing in this unedited, raw, genuine video. It made me feel sick. And when you look at the attitudes of the police officers this guy was talking to, that makes it even worse. We should have police constables in this country looking out for us, the public. They are there to protect us. Why is it that we are starting to feel like we are in a minority? British nationals here in the UK are being made to feel like a minority in our own country. And where's the police? What are they doing? Do they care? Is it just doing a job, get a pension and go? What are your thoughts? How does this make you feel? I'll tell you how it makes me feel. It absolutely makes me feel sick to the stomach. I am a veteran myself. And I know lots of veterans all over the UK. Some of them have been in combat too. And to hear their thoughts all over social media and in forums right now about how this is making them feel of what happened over the weekend just drives me mad. And it's so saddening and so sickening. What is the Mayor of London doing about this? Does he really care about the, the London people? Do you think he does? Personally, I don't trust that guy as far as I can throw him. To me, he looks the most dodgiest second-hand car dealer in the UK. Yet, he is Mayor of London. How the hell did that happen? It's pretty much similar to what happened in America, with Trump got replaced by the potato man. Absolutely stolen. And I suspect what happened with the Mayor of London, stolen too. Who in their right mind would vote for someone like that? Really? Look what's happening. Look how popular he is. Look at the ULES stuff. All of that stuff being said, being sidetracked, the bottom line is no way should anyone put anything to do with any protest anywhere near the Cenotaph. Get your bloody hands off. You leave that alone. Anyone who defaces the Cenotaph in any way or disrespects it in any way should go immediately to prison. That's my own personal opinion. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And like I say, if you know about what happened um, around the weekend where the Cenotaph was literally massively disrespected and shown on BBC and all of the rest of it. And moreover, what happened about that guy with the Union Jack? 
how can you be arrested for carrying a Union Jack in our country? Don't forget, all of the Union Jacks were replaced with the alphabet colourful flags as well for a whole entire month. Not just in London, all over the UK, Europe and America. We are seeing similar patterns here. It's crazy. But the, the protests which happened in London, it wasn't just London. It was Liverpool, Bristol, Cambridge, Norwich, Coventry, Edinburgh and Swansea as well. So if any of you guys were at any of the protests, let me know what you know about what you saw and heard about what happened in them protests. I'll be very keen to know. Like I said, the email address is below this video. Watch this video clip and let me know what you think. You guys take care. Thanks for watching and stay funky. Do you think that's a good place to put your helmet on that? What, sorry? On a, on a war memorial. Do you think that's a good place to actually set your equipment down? Is that respectful? It's a suitable place to put Is it down. Is that respectful though? Well, regardless if it's suitable, I right. think mean, that might be disrespectful. Okay. Right. My grandfather on that right. walk, yeah. right? I think that might be disrespectful that you've got your equipment resting on a war memorial. No. I, think it's, I think it's quite disrespectful yeah. that you've got your equipment resting on a war memorial. So I'll tell you why they are there. Why? Why? Yeah. Well, you ask me a question, I'll give you an answer if you want. I don't care why they're there. Okay, that's okay, my answer but is. But that could be moved down to. That could be moved down to that bit so of. So I, I don't think it's disrespectful. I, I okay. do. Okay. Mightily disrespectful. Okay, thank you.